recording. Use on the groups CD of Ponces, Anthony Motorized, Delivery, Tobias, Tobias, Production to go for tanks, couple of trucks, a bunch of artillery, support equipment, do I want those? Uh, not really, no. Some trains here, not these, not these. Trains are always handy. Research, industry, construction. Not yet needed. Let's get these. Let's also do this. Let's finish. Maybe all these. Not really that essential, but may as well. Let's just get some good generals. Do the mortar. These ones can man this border. Not quite essential. These ones can go to Austria. Get him extra troops. Rear officer. And a brand new strategist is always nice. Um, yeah, I can keep it mixed for a little while. I guess I'll eventually reorganize it into a west. East and North group. But for now I just need a bunch of units. A whole bunch of them. Infantry division. Um, get rid of the engineers. And we add anti-air. That's about it. Recon sport artillery. 
I guess I can do a couple of these. Just a few, not too many. this too well, I guess something like this will be natural uh, got some more divisions make sure that this one is adequate like the planet for um, give us These ones. Uh, keep there, sure. Looks like I can go into the cleaning square pockets. Uh, this one too. Unit Seven carbon. I mean, these divisions they have mountain and hill extra attack defense, so especially on mountains, so they can occasionally by accident be more useful. 47 more tension. I assume I'll have enough time. I do. Because I want to... Okay, let's limit this. We want a couple. Uh, we may want to trade as far as we can. Because we won't be able to trade for very long. And I guess I'll use them for this one. Yeah, honestly, if I just do a front line for each thing, so well, yeah, they do have the issue of starting to bleed into one another because it'll all be in one big group. This one can go near the mountainous Austria. Mechanical computing, radio, standard stuff. Air, I think air is up to date, which I should edit in a moment. Better cannons, sure. So yeah, better airplane. Um, and air, small airframe because Cheap airplanes mostly don't matter due to the fact that they just die a lot more. I'm not gonna have close air support, float, surface and sub detection. I don't have much of a use for it. This is just gonna be an air to air combat thing. And I assume it'll perform just fine. Um, Mayfall bills, I guess I'll just leave them. Extra resources, 5, 8, and 4, it's something. A bit more oil is always handy because we're not going to be exactly importing a whole lot. And keep the military build-up going for the moment. And when the war kicks off, I guess I could just... Uh, 
Okay, so let's clue this one. Uh, is there anyone I want to promote? There is somewhere. Well, no need because I already have like four for this coin, so I may as well use a good one. Um, Fedor von Bock has a plus one there. Albert Kesseling has plus one plus two, and it's cheaper to promote, so I guess I'll go with Kesseling. And for now, yeah, may as well use it on that. I'm not going to be doing a whole lot when it comes to tanks or motorized. Just honestly a couple, because um, I think I'll go with something like this. Remove the motorized recon, remove the engineers, less HP. How much more soft attack? Double? Yeah, more or less. Get more hard attack, less org. So, I'd say this works on a budget. Right? For more, I guess, would be a little excessive. So, fine, we'll just use this. It's not gonna be like an excessively hard hitter, but. I need a lot of troops, not a lot of good troops. There are 50 friends I need to save myself from, so... It's not gonna be easy. Um, there's almost... Enough. And there we go, that's 50%, so... Let's go German war economy. Okay. What else? Uh, oil. Yeah, that's a bit quick. I guess let's get basic stuff. Let's add this motor brigade. This one goes right here. Here. The 10 infantry divisions. Um, I guess I'll make them a separate army again. Or whatever, they just go here. Maximilian von Reichs and Denmark. Denmark does need a decent amount of troops. I've had okay success with eight units. Uh, no motorized, I think, so. Infantry, Panzer. I mean, does Panzer leader get? He gets combined arms expert, so fair enough. I guess I can get this guy. And I'll put him with the Kassorin uh, field marshal. Aggressive Assaulter and Offensive Doctrine and Charismatic, all in one. Oh wait, they don't have any. But yeah. And this one will just be for simple breakthroughs and... Yeah, what's the thing I'd want to break through? I guess... 
something like this. Oh yeah, there's also the f yeah paratroopers are getting there. Uh, we need a lot more of these, so let's get that going. Let's get that going. Artillery pieces. And we need more of these, definitely. Special projects, once those are over, get back on our boost. Our economy won't be going just fine. Guns are being created. Yep, 17. I guess I can split those in two. I guess I can also just fuse West and North Front. But anyways, these ones will eventually go to Luxembourg once war starts. I just need Poland now, basically. One. Two, three, four. So we have 14 divisions here. From Guderian. So we'll put Guderian in here. Put this one here. Thing. Yeah, I don't know. I don't really care either. Oh yeah, and of course, these are elite units, so if you can give them cannons, give them cannons. There's also a bunch of port guards I need to make, so that's going to be a pain as well. Um... Fine, let's do better industry. I'm gonna need it sooner or later anyways, so I'd rather have it sooner. Hmm. I just need something good to fill out the Polish borders. I'll concede with 20. 20 should be fine. German war economy, that should help. On the Reichskommissariats. I need them quickly. Um, non core manpower. Rudolf Hess, for sure. More political power. Will always come in handy. And research. Yeah, okay, the paratroopers are done. So that means. Yeah, okay, we're gonna drop these right here. And we're gonna see if we can convert them all to paratroopers. And of course, we make paratroopers also high. It's not a great division, but I don't need a great division. I just need a division. Uh, sure, let's keep these for the special... Um, Military things, you know, ones that you don't really need for a specific front, but to go around and do stuff with. So, okay, what first? Well, we need to find an air base. Here is one right, here is one closer. So, okay. 
Next, we're going to take all the planes and we're going to make them fly all the way over here. Now, once that's done, we select all these. We take half and we're going to put them here. And once that's done, we go over Northern France. Do this, do that, do Naval Strike. Okay. And so we make... Oh, you can only do that there? Really? I mean, I think the relative range is the same, so I don't care too much. And so... Hmm... Yeah, I'm not sure what that's about. Huh. Why isn't it? The province needs at least 50 transport planes. Okay, fair enough. The 80 transport planes are going to go here. And you're going to get these and you're going to trade them out. That should give my man just a bit more range. One, two, three. Motorized Infantry Division. Let's use the motorized to help out with the front just a little bit. Probably not enough here. The general military build-up is the difficult part. Let's also prepare these orders. Of course, you want one in Calais. one of these. I mean, this is just the basic um, Paris uh, power drop scrap. Didn't really this, well, I guess the game gives a warning at the beginning that if you do declare war, that the event will immediately kick off. But you actually get a little bit of time. Just a tiny bit. It's not many days you have to really get yourself prepared. Because I think you have about 10 days in a war before the um, event chain kicks off that everyone declares war on you. But if you pair drop into France, they capitulate in one day, so it should quite easily work. Just find the rest of the cities. We have Lille, Dunkirk, and the last one can go into Marseille. 
So I have all the major victory points, I have some minor victory points. Should be pretty okay. Um, definitely gonna need a lot of everything still. Interwar artillery. Okay. I want to quickly make better cannons. The answer is mm, sure. Not like I have much else to research. No, I'm not going to lie. These troops are absolutely horrendous. But the AI is passive for the first or so month. Well, not, not even that much, honestly. Like, soon a bunch of troops will come flowing in. Now, the idea behind this strategy is to... Um, basically make it a whole bunch easier. I guess I'll just save it in case it doesn't work. I still want to have some more troops for this border because I really don't like it, but I can only do what I have to do. So, nobody guarantees France. We declare war. We cause a bunch of world tension. We take a look at these guys. Send them over. How much do they have left? And they capitulate. Simple. Very simple. Now I could prepare another one. No, I'm not exactly sure which country would be the best. Like, do I just power drop into London and the like? Mm. Not too sure. I mean, yeah, it's really difficult to tell. I think maybe Poland is one of the stronger ones you have to fight. Due to their reasonably big starting army. So yeah. Oh yeah, I now have an entire new army to man any front I want. I guess. Add some to these as well. And I could use some of these for this front. And then I have four remaining troops, which I guess I'll use for the south. I could go into Spain, but I don't think Spain will declare war. I'm not too sure. This is just kind of showing off my little strat. And so, with them joining the Allies, we win. We win and we get everything we want. So, we're not going to puppet Free France immediately. Firstly, we want a couple of Vietnam, sure. Cambodia, sure. Laos, sure. I mean, honestly, we take what we can make. I don't know if France actually has cores on these. No, they don't. So, may as well not bother. Gabon. 
съм го брасвал вио. Ctrl F, PK, Chad, The Homie, Toggle, Echo Recoast, Upper Volta, Mali, Guinea, Senegal. Like these are all just gonna be free countries under direct control. And they don't actually betray you. Now, while it would be funny to have a big Ossetania, I'm just gonna give them this. Mm, I think I gave it to Somalia. No, I didn't. Somalia gets much more coarse than Djibouti. So yeah, we have that, and the rest goes into free France. So let's see. So this is France. I'm not sure if I did Tunis. But you know what? Let's exit and see. Okay, so I didn't give Tunis. Sure. I guess that means Spain doesn't get the Algerian desert or whatever that was last time. And so, I have got a bunch of puppets. Now, what's nice about these puppets is, of course, they get four civilian factories, three military factories. And they won't immediately be declared into war, I assume. Transport, air defense, I don't need all that. I need a co-officer corps. Now, I think I can just take out any country I want. Particular. Maybe I could try to go for Poland. So I'll have to... Um, Take these airplanes. Put them into Niederschlesen. Put them over here. The nine troops in Niederschlesen. Well, I mean, let's just get them to Niederschlesen first, I guess. And we'll see from there. Okay. Form, sure. Instilled aggression, I mean, more, who cares? <coughs> and of course, this is where it starts. And they don't join the war. Nobody joins the war. Like the gang said it would, but no, they have to be manually called in. And as you can see, you will get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 21, 24, 27, 30. So, including Tyrannus, that would be 31 allies. Maybe you can get a 30 second, I'm not too sure. But it's quite nice, and some of these do have cores. Like, if you bring in Kurdistan, you will get a bunch. <laughs> if you bring in Basque, you help with Spain. And I think you can just release Nationalist Spain. Because you wouldn't be at war with them, so even if you don't have ownership, you should be able to release them. 
but assuming you can't, you can just give it all to Morocco and make them create Al Andalus. Assuming you have Portugal as well. Um, but yeah. Aside from that, what can I do? Well, I got a whole bunch of troops, so that's pretty great. Can't complain. Boom. We sent this to um, these guys. And I guess the first order of business, the first target I'd want to take out is Poland then. Um, yeah. Infantry Division. Uh, I'd like some cavalry brigades as well. 24 should be enough, and then will mostly be coast guards. And that's the reason why I want to go for Reichskommissariat. Oh, I forgot to actually take this state. That was my mistake, so I'm just going to do a quick consul command. Of course, in the peace deal you can just do this, but you really do need this. Because you need to make North Belgian Ost Frankrijk. Or no. Nor what the fuck was the Reichskommissariat name? Anyways. Belgian North Frankrijk? Something like that. But yeah, whatever. So let's just um, drop down whatever we can drop down, which is five. Six. Six go to Belgium. We have five for Luxembourg. Ten for the Netherlands. Fifteen for the Czechs. Whatever this is. Whatever that is. And mostly seems to be fine. Uh, if I want to, I could also do Italy and such. But as you can see, you can selectively call in allies. That's why I made Ossetania right here, because assuming I call in France, Italy doesn't have a border. Italy also won't be getting Corsica, and France won't be... And Spain will be the only one being able to go into France. Of course, you can also prevent that by giving Ossetania two states, the Middle Pyrenees and this one, and just kind of using it as a buffer. Or you can just start the war by adding these guys and just running them through who knows i'm not too sure this will be a successful attempt but i guess i will try and see so non-aggression pact with japan sure me and japan are just not going to war So yeah, cool. Manchukuo. So the Netherlands aren't joining. Dutch East Indies aren't joining. Luxembourg isn't joining. Belgium isn't joining. Czechoslovakia, Poland, Austria, Denmark, Iceland, and Manchukuo. Uh, I have some political power, so maybe I can just manually declare. And how long would it take? 25 days. So within 25 days I can just invade whatever country I want. I don't have people to put in the army. That is rough. Well, even with that, well, whatever. Yeah. I have 100,000 people. Uh, I could have gone up a conscription law maybe instead of getting political power guy, but... So what would be the next best thing to do. Hmm. I guess, um, sure. Let's get North Frankrijk. Oh yeah, that's, those are the paratroopers. That's not the time for blame. Uh, Darian. No. Bad Guderian. You're just gonna put yourself in here. 
strike Belgium from the south, Czechoslovakia. So they are the first ones to join and that is fair enough because their front there is relatively weak. Except East Prussia. Well, I mean, I can defend East Prussia. Oh, shit. I guess I didn't defend East Prussia. Um, yeah, you... Come on. Can't you just add that? Seriously? Do I, do I have to make, like, one of those manuals? Fucking junk wrangler. Uh, I swear, you're completely useless. Fine, here, have a, have a junk line, have fun. Well, because you just don't want to defend the north border. Now, come on. Has to join faction? Sure. Japan joins. <laughs> <laughs> that is so fucking dumb. Yeah, just betray the allies. Sure, why not? Be my friend. Totally fair and balanced. Well, that's uh, 60 divisions and 62 that they are missing now. So, their numbers are going down. And they don't like that. I see. Now that I think about it, Königsberg may start to fall. Marina, no, you don't get to join the wars. And I'm not sure what Japan would even do. Does that mean that Manchukuo is now in the faction? Manchukuo is here too. That's kind of cool, actually. So if I want to, I could get them to invade China and the Soviets. Though, I don't think they're quite prepared for a task that monumental. <laughs> no, no they aren't. But, nah, distraction is a distraction. I just want Japan to be safe and happy, you know? Yeah, I may need to split that in two. Who has joined? Romania? Romsky? Okay. Uh, yeah. Ecuador has called Denmark. Okay, Denmark can be chilling, sure. I'm sure it has been said before, but it would be cool if there were more options for... Um, Luxembourg, okay. Well, Luxembourg is here. And Luxembourg shall soon die, so that's fine by me. I'll just take this attempt to where I can see, and I guess I can bypass Rhineland, so boom, bypassed. Woo, let's go. Großraumwirtschaft? I mean, I guess I can. Sure, why not? But yeah, of course, by doing this, instead of, for example, doing it with Poland, you are conceding that you don't have course on Sudetenland, you don't have course on Austria, you don't have course on Danzig, you don't have course on Malmö. You get nothing. But you will get France and whatever bunch of fucking dumb uh, 
colonial garbage you can get out of it. Like good old Vietnam. Which maybe they'll start making divisions sometime. German France gets a whole one. But yeah, I haven't actually tried it with Poland yet, though I know there will be some advantages to it. Like, for example, getting the Kisling Norwegian coup. Which is going to be quite nice. Uh, you just go defend that, and you just go and reinforce that. Yeah, sure. Why not? Yeah, like, this is definitely a lot more relaxing than what it usually is. Because... The thing is, is that not only do you... S France have like a bunch of industry that it's also transferring over to me like how much do I get uh, 10 and 9 but all those troops that France had that it helps Belgium and Netherlands with it's just completely erased like I can definitely bully Switzerland if I want to yeah I can quite easily shore up this front because I get to decide when and where to attack. Unless they manually declare, I guess. So that's Luxembourg down. Usually I don't even capitulate Luxembourg because they turn it into a goddamn fort. Um, Japan wants to give me stuff and Japan may give me stuff. Now let's see. 24, 25. So that's quite nice. Let's save the game again. Um, let's see if there's anything I have to worry about. And the answer is not really. I guess. Well, I'm not too happy about that, but... Let's take seven for the check border, and let's take the other seven for this. Uh, Hitler, you will get ten. Ten units to secure this border. And the other... border. Let's see, strike force in this region, sure. Um, Raider. Submarines, units, and you can go convoy raid around yeah, somewhere like this. Um, this one, oh, you have 64 submarines. Can I transfer them over?
so I'll just do it manually for now because I'm not too good with the um, hotkeys in this game. French fleet is a nice big boom to, well, anything. If I want to naval invade, if I want to. Well, the under fleet's money. Boom. Push through. Oh yeah, of course it just doesn't. <sighs> I haven't actually uh, like reassigned those divisions, huh? And Scuderian, this guy. You're just gonna walk straight into Brussels. And the uh, rest of you just do whatever, I guess. Going to get your naval support, and you're just going to get killed really quickly here. Of course, they will still support Belgium. But I assume that with relative ease, they should fall. I guess it's better if I send all my planes over to just go... here for a little while oh damn okay we got Poland and that front has been destroyed so we're just going to not be encircled because I don't know fucking game doesn't want me to have nice little uh, defensive fronts <laughs> it is what it is Königsberg isn't the biggest loss. Of course, I'd much rather have that. Uh, the game is a bit more um, helpful with its um, functionality, but fine. Um, yeah, we can just walk right in here too. So we'll just go and do that, I guess. And here you have some. Well, let's just uh, drop a bunch of cavalry brigades right here and under a new field command that will later be used for naval invasion protection. You shall now invade the Netherlands very quickly.
no need to do that when I can just walk into Rotterdam. And you know, I won't be doing this entire war, I just want to show off the general idea of this strategy. Because why would I want to make a five hour video on that? But okay, let's just uh, let's go here. We got into Brussels, so Belgium and Netherlands are both halfway gone. Breda got liberated somehow, some way, who knows. I mean, just look up. That's why I usually prefer to have field marshal orders to this. I mean, this is just fucking disgusting. Like, I've never seen anything more abhorrent than this. Go into Leowardo or something, man. I don't care. Okay, you go to all that. And you go and run down into there. Just kill Breda and you will be handsomely rewarded. Yeah, because I don't have Breda, I don't get them. Yeah, let's pinch for Liege. Let's attack these guys. Attack this. want you to stay here. Have you considered that? These lines are so fucking disgusting. But I should be able to kill them sooner than later. Pin these. Just go here, please. Just go anywhere useful. Thanks. That would be a, of great help. That's the one thing I hate about this game. Where you make a very messy configuration and it temporarily kind of works. So, of course, you consider, like, uh, let's just, uh, I forgot about this, so. Benelux region, just attack. No. <laughs> they don't listen. They just don't want to listen. Go into the Benelux region. really want to see how strong they'll be with, or I guess how weak they'll be with. Oh no, you are definitely not going into Brussels. No fucking way are you going into Brussels. You're not gonna be doing shit. Just kill them already, man. Just kill all of them. Where am I gonna be? Kill them, kill them, and kill them some more. the allowed assaults from the east. 
but luckily none of that is my issue because all I need to do is just make sure that I get what I came for. Yeah, I mean, why do they randomly reconfigure like this? Like, what are they trying to do by abandoning Korterijk? Do they think they're clever? Do they think they're smart? Do they think they're funny? Or do they just not think at all? Probably that, huh? Okay, anyways, is Belgium already fallen? Please be fallen. And boom. That's them capitulated. So, that does save me a lot of power. Now that I only have to worry about killing, killing, and killing some more. Looks to be fine, I guess, more or less. I mean, it's definitely really soft. Like, when I don't do this, I get hit back much harder than this. Like, the, hard, the longest I've lived just playing it as it's intended was 1938, I guess. Though it is, it's just easy. It's just trivial. It just... Anyways, that is some of the Dutch gone. Once Liège falls, that will be up. Rijkscommissariat Nederlanden. Dutch Reich declared war on the Netherlands. Well, that's uh, a friend. And it gets three divisions and 36 factories. Pretty okay. I mean, I'll take it. And that is Belgian and North Frankrijk. Brexit was Belgian, declared war on Belgium. all those horse divisions. These are the cavalry. This is the cavalry. George Hans Reinhardt. There you go. You're that guy. Could have remembered that. Um, you're going to area defend all the forts. Theoretically, I should be supporting you more. But okay. A relatively small fort line. And so, with that, what do we end up with? We end up with 355 factories, 239 divisions, versus 376 to 14, to 1420. And 1046 versus 170. So it's definitely a lot better than what you usually get. Definitely. It's much, much nicer. Does anyone have a core on Belgium? Or, I mean, Luxembourg? Maybe you, you. you want Luxembourg? You can get Luxembourg. Here, have Luxembourg. I don't want Luxembourg. Yeah. Look, they have a slightly better shape now. I guess since um, 
I have some of those troops at ready, I could... Uh, you know what, maybe I'll just... Uh, you know, <laughs> what's it matter? Oh no. Like really, who cares? Look at how thick these defenses are. They're so strong. I mean, capitulating Switzerland, not really exactly a priority. And now that France doesn't have borders, or I could just go via Basconia. I mean, whose troops are these? Rommel's. Rommel, you shall go here, and you shall invade. Right? Because they're part of the war, right? Are they? Are Spain and Portugal part? Yeah, they are. The only one that isn't joining is Iceland. Okay. Fair enough. Look at that. Look at what the Reichskommissariats are giving me. Fucking awesome. Yeah, so hopefully I can beat out Spain and then release Spain from Spain. That would be great. Um, Fedor von Bock. You can do quite the same thing. You go here. And you're gonna liberate everything. Now, assuming I can give Spain to Spain, there's little reason for me to bank on um, Darien. Are you not uh, joining this? Yeah, come on, we're gonna be having a lot of fun here. Okay, um, Gebirgs Division, Guderian, Kurt Student. So we're going to be going for a rapid invasion. And see how Spain goes from there. David Frankfurt Horst. You go ahead and recover for a bit. Mechanical computing. Uh, since they're all under this guy, we're just going to give you mobilization priority. This defense. Yeah, let's get a little processing because why not? Supply trucks, high priority. Uh, cavalry. Sure. Area defended, fine. Thank you, Reichskommissariat. Um, and then you are going to, well, wait. Oh yeah, and um, where do I want to put more armies? I have that, that front. Eh, I mean, I could reinforce some. Like, yeah, seven go here. Four go here. And three can go here, sure. After that. I don't need more cavalry brigades, I just need more.
normal ones okay let's save and let's see if just going with the busk will work oh yeah and uh now that i think about it Organizations, sure. And that's already start. I mean, for one, you give the Basque some extra territory, so that's not too bad. Poland, fronts are defended. Oh, scheisse. I mean, you know what, we'll just take these three, we'll make an infantry division and we'll add you. Doesn't matter too much. I mean, Denmark really isn't going to be the biggest threat in the world. I would like to see if I can actually release Spain as a puppet. That would be awesome. Or if it isn't allowed because of... Uh... Spain can't really defend against it for some reason. How is all the other fronts? They seem to be fine. And if I do Spain, then I'll consider this a whole success and we'll just uh, leave it at that. No, no reason to really go too far beyond all that. I also will be sitting here for hours trying to take out the entire world just because I wanted to prove a little tiny point. 
but this is mostly just to outline the general strategy you want to take of taking possibly Western Europe. I mean, maybe you could do stuff like turning the um, the air volunteers into marines and... Oh, fuck. Well, that's annoying. Um, hello. You guys. You can go and reinforce that. And you motorized guys, you will run over the Americans. I mean, yeah, let's just move them out here. Let's actually keep some around. Yeah, Kufler. Uh, Kufler, you can uh, join indeed. Because I indeed don't have the um, stuff. So, there we go. Okay. But more importantly, invasion into Spain. Because as we all know, Spain is Spain. I'm not sure why they don't realize that this is a thing. I mean, fine, I guess. Luckily, I do remember. What, what do I even research? Computing machine? Sure, whatever. Oh, just keep walking. Why not? Here. And a nice little run through Spain. Woo! Me too, going to Burgos, why not? Why be stuck here defending junk when you can just just run the right through? Same goes for here, of course, like... You don't want to just sit here and do nothing all the time. And be so focused on all that crap. For control of state, and I want Burgos. Okay, so Burgos is ours, and can I now? Okay, fair enough. Uh, I could give Morocco Burgos. Oh, uh, I guess I'll just do that at the end then. You know, that I think about it, why not just... And just run them over it ASAP. Oh no, not that far, smart ass. Here, this way. Hmm. 
Oh, cool. I'm giving you a prime opportunity just to win right here, right now. Why not just take it? You may as well, right? There's no way. That would be fucking beautiful. The answer to that is absolutely it is. And circle and circle and circle and break. Barcelona, you can just go to Barcelona, why not? So much stuff to look at, it's so annoying. You know what, I'll, I think I'll just keep it at this. So the idea is, once they capitulate, get the stuff from Basconia, and give it, put these to um, Morocco, give them all that, and they should be able to form Andalusia, given they also have Portugal. I'm not sure if they take that decision, but they can. Well, that's pretty much it for this. And over.